Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Timu haul for you today. Ooh, ooh. I picked up a few things and I thought I would share them. Now these were sent to me for review. However, the opinions are always my own. I just want to throw that out there. Thank you. Hi, Alex. Um, the first thing I got, and some of these are gifts. This was for me and I didn't read that it was only one. So I need to order another one. But it is an armrest and it actually matches my furniture. My cats like to lay on the chair, the arms of my chair when I'm sitting in it and they sometimes claw, but mostly just, you know, cat dander and dirt and stuff. So these can be taken off and laundered. So I thought it was a two pack because I don't understand the one pack, but it's just a one pack. And it's like microfiber, but I don't care. It will keep my couch clean and that's really the important thing with that whole situation. Let me get this trash bag so I can. Oh, and it also comes with double stick Velcro if you need that. I don't need that. Um, it'll just attach to my, it'll just sit on my couch. I actually have a set that I ordered before. They're brown. I don't know why I got brown. I don't know that I got brown. Let's just say brown got delivered to me. Right, Alex? Hey, nobody wants to see your buddy. Come here. No. Okay. Um, oh, wait till you see this. I'm kind of obsessed with buying all the Christmas stuff. I don't even eat these, but these are the little Debbie Christmas trees. Earrings. But I think what I'm going to do is take the earring part off and um, glue a magnet and it's going to be a Christmas needle minder. A needle minder is um, if you're doing like needlework and it, oops, sorry Alex, any type of needlework where you are stitching, it's a magnet. You put a magnet, you attach a magnet to this, put one on the back, it holds on your fabric and then it, you, it minds your needle like a needle nanny. You put your needle there and it doesn't move and I need a I need a Christmas tree needle minder. I'm just gonna say it. It needs to happen. Um, kind of boring, but yet still a necessity in my life. Um, these are parchment liners for my air fryer. I have a round basket. These will plop right in. They kind of got flattened. This is a 50 pack. Um, plops right in and I cook what I want and then I can just take this out and throw it away and I don't have to clean the entire air fryer every time. Um, while we're here talking about things I purchased, there's gonna be a description box below, all the links to the items that I purchased, plus some discount codes. I know they're doing all kinds of cyber deals. So check it out, check them out. I enjoy shopping on Timu because I get fun stuff for relatively inexpensive. These I bought on a whim, hoping that they would be what I need, but they are not. I'm looking for cow pins, cow, oh, that one's even broken, um, cow head beads, but these are cow heads, but the hole goes through the side and I need them to sit on a pin. So that isn't going to work, which is fine. Um, but these are ceramic and they are, they are for like the slider. These will slide. I want ones that will like dangle. So yeah, but they are glass. Unfortunately, my black cow, my black cow lost an ear, but the green one is intact. I mean, they're adorable and I'll use them for something else. They just don't slide the way I need them to. So there's that. There's that. Um, more Christmassy stuff. And I mean, they literally have anything on there, but buyer beware and just know that you can return items. If you get something and it's not the quality that you were hoping for or wanting, you can return it. Um, I just picked these up because I thought they were adorable and they're just little little gifting bags. And they have, diff they have all different prints. Uh, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you get six little, and if you do anything like stocking stuffers, or you could get a whole bunch of them and use them as an advent bag and hang them like on a clothesline type situation and then have little prizes in here and you can reuse them over and over again. And they have all different prints. So you could get four different patterns and mix it up. And then they're just a little drawstring bag. 
And I love stuff like this, especially, it's, I'm not trying to be like sexist or something, but with the little girls and the jewelry and the makeup and the, I mean, little boys too with like the cars and stuff. But I feel like I had nieces and I was always looking for little things to put Christmas baubles in. Where are we at, Alex? Um, I got some more tools for my pottery because if you remember, my whole pottery kit got stolen out of my car when my car got broken into. And the kit I bought didn't have any of these. It's their wooden ribs is what they're called. So they're all different shapes and they do different tasks to get, you know, curve your edges and smooth your clay. Oh, I like that one a lot. And the thing like you use these for, especially with me in hand building is you scrape like this one would go across and you would get a smooth surface. And then also this one has a rounded edge to it. So they're all different. And then it comes with this butter knife looking. And really every piece of this is useful. This one here even has a serrated edge to it. So you can rough things up. Um, so yeah, these are going to be very handy for my pottery kit because I didn't have, I only have a metal kidney and it, it kind of cuts. This is more gliding. Also, I'm learning how to use air dry clay. So I got that for pottery. And then if you've watched me for any amount of time, you will know that I cannot stand the feel of microfiber like this. And these, oh, these are the worst. That's not bad. My fingers are dry and it, but, but let me tell you something for pottery class, these are perfect. Perfect because the cotton towels that I was using, the lint gets on my project and it was making a mess. This, it does not. And it doesn't absorb, it sounds weird, but it doesn't absorb all the clay and get gross. I've used the same towel for a couple weeks now and I just have to do a quick rinse. So for Sarah and I, I grabbed a five pack and I'll share with her. Cause you're always wanting to wipe your hands or your tools, you know, you're, you're working in clay. And so these are also a good size for that. And then I can bring them home and just toss them in the wash. These are also good for cleaning your glasses. Again, lint and scratchy and cleaning like mirrors and stuff because of the lint free. If you're doing dishes, like if you're serving a fancy dinner and you need to clean out your glasses, these would do a good job. Ugh, don't touch it. No more touching. And quite frankly, when I'm doing pottery and my hands are all covered in clay they're not as dry so they don't stick right now my hands are super dry because I've been cleaning all day so everything is sticking all right next up I got oh, this is from my boss she has chickens she will not use this so I don't care that it's kind of cheesy it's a joke but it's a thing it's an apron and when you go out to collect your eggs there's a hole and it will hold like I don't know, a lot of, a lot of eggs. So I got this for her to go in her chicken purse. Look at this rooster. I love the color. It's like satiny though, which is weird because if you know real chicken eggs, when they come out of the hen house are gross. So, but your egg drops in here and it just frees up your hands. But this is like satin, which is weird, but whatever. Again, I know she's not gonna use it. It's just a, a funny Christmas gag gift kind of thing. I'm also getting her a gift card, but I got all this chicken stuff from Timu because I just think it's funny. So I grabbed her that apron because, well, it is funny. Hi, Alex. Oh, you've got to see this. This fat boy loves nothing more than his belly to the fire and to bite me if I rub his belly. No bite, uh-uh. No, sir. He is over there living his best cat life with his belly to the fire. Um, for my, <laughs> hey, hey, we're not doing, rude. For my business, if you don't know, I do have an Etsy shop. I sell cross-stitch planners that I designed and other cross-stitch related things right now. But um, I ordered a hundred pack of these poly mailers which hopefully, let's see. 
We're gonna see if my planner fits. It's, it's right here. Okay, here I'm scooching back. This is my planner that I designed. That's my sticker to, to indicate this is my planner, not set for sale. I'm terrified I'm gonna ship it to somebody, but it's just a planner. I've already started working in it for next year. You get free patterns and all of that. Um, but I don't know if this is gonna fit. It was supposed to be a 10 by 13. It is, okay, it just looks small. And the 10 by 13, I wrap it in bubble, the planner in bubble wrap and it fits perfectly. And I thought these are fun. And if I'm gonna be reviewing some stuff from Timu, let me review stuff that I use on the regular and I use these on the regular. And it's the same quality that I order from Amazon, but less expensive. So I was able to get a 100 pack, which I will slowly start buying 100 packs at a time. I think I sold through my Etsy store, um, 350 maybe, 325, something like that. And then there's some in the wholesale at stores. But let me make sure these are self-sealing. That was the one thing I wanted to check. Yeah, it's the same as what I order. I'm putting it back in the cello because I won't need this until next year. Um, because this year is winding down. I have 25 left and I probably will not do another order unless I get a bunch of requests closer to the end of the year, but I feel like if you're buying your your 2024 planner, you've already purchased it, but maybe not. So I got that for my business and also for my business, look at that. This is a wooden carved out business card holder. I know. So if I'm ever at pop-up shops or at like craft shows or something and I have my business card, I can sit it in here and then people can grab them. And I thought that was perfect. Like why not take an opportunity to purchase things that I need, right? And not just fun stuff or things for other people. Example, this um, is, it's for a large like drink. I love these things. It is, neoprene fabric so like if you go to dunkin donuts or starbucks this would hold a trenta starbucks drink or a large soda from mcdonald's or something and you slide it in the summertime or anytime really you slide it down in here and when it sweats this holds the sweat in it also keeps it cold longer and then you have a little handle these are great and i did get this for a gift for somebody on my team and then the inside is black. This is part, if you watched my Dollar Tree haul or it hasn't come up yet, watch my Dollar Tree haul. I get what's called life altering prizes for my team at the office. And we do little games and stuff and people win prizes. So this will most likely go into the basket of life altering prizes. Cause we all like cold drinks, right? And two things left. I picked up, and we're going to see how we like these, for travel. These are actually for Sarah's boyfriend, Michael, and you get their packing cubes, and I swear by packing cubes. So you get the large, and these are really neat. They have some straps inside to help you, and then you get a bunch of different sizes. So you get uh wish you have a colorful life that is hysterical wish you have a colorful life the translation is killing me uh this is for like shoe slippers something of that nature this one is a drawstring bag it's a wet sack, so if anything gets damp or moist. And then you have this size here, which again can be for shoes. Oh yeah, this is definitely for shoes. But you can, you can do anything you want, but this is definitely a size for shoes. Or, you know, socks, underwear, whatever. It doesn't matter what you put in them. And then two more with a mesh top. And then this one here 
documents or whatever. So wish you have a colorful life. I'm dying here guys with that. So I got this set for Michael uh, because we are all going on a trip next year. And I thought that would be a good Christmas gift for him since Sarah said that he does not have packing cubes. And they're really very helpful when you're packing to um, travel. So I grabbed these and they're nice quality. I can tell you that other than the questionable English, they're gonna work just fine. And then, oh, what's in there? Oh yeah. The last thing I got, which I'm pretty excited about, it's a Christmas cup. Now, I will tell you, I am, it's a star wishing cup, whatever the heck that means. It's an upside down Christmas tree, guys. I'm shocked that it's glass. I thought it would be plastic, because it doesn't say. So the green, I will use this for tea. The green hole is what holds your liquid. Everything around it is empty space. And you have the gold stars. It's an upside down Christmas tree. How fun is that? And then it comes with, this is a silicone lid to keep it warm, right? You can keep it on the top and it'll keep your tea warm or it's a coaster. I know, I love this. I can't wait to use it. I've been waiting. I think you put it on the top when you're steeping your tea, you just sit it on the top to keep it hot while it's steeping. And then you just do that. I know, isn't that exciting? Let's do a thumbnail, shall we? Thumbnails, or should I do that? No, we got a good thumbnail. So yeah, I'm gonna wash this. Um, I don't quite know if it's dishwasher safe. It says high borosilicate glass. It's food safe, glass mug, today living. Doesn't say, so I'm gonna say no. It is also very delicate. Think wine glass, so I will probably just hand wash it, which is fine, and then I'll make some tea in it. Oh my gosh, how exciting. So guys, that's everything I got from Timu this time. Check out the description uh, in the, check out the links in the description box below. And I hope you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later. Bye.